Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as we begin our proceedings, I'd like to ask that you all rise. Gentlemen, remove your hats. Graduates, you can keep yours on for this. I give you permission. For the playing of our national anthem, flag is to the right. Your left. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll ask that you take your seats as we listen to several selections from our band.
Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause, particularly for the senior members of the band and the chorus. As the students take their seats, I'd like to welcome you all here. Students, parents, family members, community members, members of our Board of Education, administration, teachers, and staff members, to the commencement ceremony for Clarkston High School, Class of 2017. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Commencement is more than simply an annual event, particularly in Clarkston. It's a moment shared between faculty, families, and students in a setting that is, of course, special and unique to our community. It's a time when the school and the community come together for a rite of passage that's filled with pride of achievement and a sense of nostalgia. This year's senior class has handled themselves with a dignity and maturity rarely seen from high school students. And for that, don't laugh, it's serious, it's true. I'd like to thank you guys. Thank you, seniors. At this time, I'd like to introduce two seniors from our senior executive board, Illa Mossman and Kelly Nicholson. They'll be introducing our board of education this evening. So our Board of Education members for the 2017-2018 school year, first we have President Steve Heyer. <laughs> Vice President Elizabeth Egan. <laughs> Treasurer Gregory Need. <laughs> Secretary Kelly Horth. Trustee Cheryl McGinnis. <laughs> Trustee Susan Boatman. <laughs> and Trustee Andre Andrea Catalina. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, girls. Also on stage with us here this evening, Dr. Rod Rock. Superintendent of Clarkson Schools. <laughs> Mr. Josh LeMay, Assistant Principal, Clarkston High. <laughs> Ms. Amy Quayle, Assistant Principal, Clarkston High School. <laughs> Ms. Nicole Trasco, Dean of Students. <laughs> of course, we have Mr. Mike Lewis, Band Director somewhere in the wings. Mr. Mike Peterson, our choral director. Mr. Brian Blust, student speaker. And a special thanks tonight go out to Ms. Teresa Brown, Ms. Judy Goodman, Ms. Shelby Charette, and Hannah Lore Ruprecht. The event planners for the evening. Extraordinary ladies, extraordinary. I would also like to collectively introduce the teachers, administration, representation from our PTA throughout the district that are here with us this evening. Thank you. Round of applause for our teaching staff. And at this time, I'd like to introduce the senior class sponsors, Ms. Amy Allen and Ms. Deb Brock. of 2017. Woo! Congratulations! It has been our honor to represent all 603 Clarkston seniors over the past three years. Ms. Brock and I have had many of you in class and had the pleasure of watching you grow into the young adults you are today. We will miss your smiles, your jokes, and the lingo that you use to make us feel old. Thank you for everything and good luck in the years to come. And now, Ms. Brock will introduce to you your senior executive board.
It is with great pleasure that I introduce your 2017 Senior Class Executive Board, Brian Blust, Selena Brennan, Tim Dalrymple, Allison Fear, Drew Kraschke, Abby Horning, Jacob Ivankovich, Haley Koss, Kelly McKay, Kelly Nicholson, Ilham Osman, Kristen Page, Taylor Smith, and Max Wyckoff. I would like to introduce Drew Freshke, who will be reflecting on your freshman year. Hi, everyone. <laughs> freshman year, what a trying time. <laughs> While I was writing this, I had a hard time remembering what happened, probably because I blocked it out of my memory. But let me take you back. Tapping away on our iPhone 5s, we were occupied with Flappy Bird, Quiz Up, and Candy Crush. During our freshman year, Snapchat had just introduced stories. Can you imagine high school without Snapchat stories? We were listening to Hunter Hayes, Lord, Ed Sheeran, and watching Miley Cyrus go through her wrecking ball phase. As if 2013 wasn't cringy enough, Oxford Dictionary added the words twerk and selfie to the dictionary this year. Some trends were the Harlem Shake and the viral video, What Did the Fox Say? We were wearing combat boots and Sperry's, coveting Lululemon leggings, and were mesmerized by Kylie Jenner's new lips. As for the major news during our freshman year, you'll remember things such as Pope Francis being elected, the Edward Snowden scandal, the Boston Marathon bombings, the death of Paul Walker and Nelson Mandela. The world was a crazy place back then. <laughs> Here in Clarkston, we accomplished some awesome things as a class. Our girls swim team won leagues. Team Rush won the World's Chairman's Award and even got to meet the president. Two of the class of 17's very own, Nick Stallworth and Carter Gale, went to Ford Field and are part of Clarkson's first ever football state championship. As for academics, we were challenged by teachers like Mr. P Mr. Berman, Mr. Senebaum, Mr. Pariseau, Mrs. Halligan, and Ms. Cleland, and many more. And while during our freshman year, most of us were sporting braces and pink yoga pants, we were also embarking on a journey that would turn out to be a memorable one. We sure had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. But instead of looking back at freshman year and cringing, let's look back and see how much we have changed. Do you have the same friends you did freshman year? Do you have the same style? What about the same work ethic? Are you finishing high school the way you always imagined you would? I hope this quick stroll through memory lane didn't bring back too many painful memories, but if it did, I guess I'll just have to blame it on the weekend. <laughs> and now I'd like to introduce Allison Fear for the sophomore year recap. Sophomore year, we were finally actual high schoolers. We didn't have to change schools anymore. Life was great. But we had to get used to a totally new environment and deal with being the low man on the totem pole again. We were welcomed to CHS with Mr. Call's infamous tribal knowledge speech, as well as the realization that sophomore year meant our Clarkston Community Schools experience was approaching its end. As brand new high schoolers, we may have been absolutely terrible at walking in the hallways, and we may have gotten lost a few times, but soon we realized the high school was really kind of just two awkwardly shaped trapezoids stacked on top of each other. We experienced the school spirit of, high, of the high school for the first time at the pep rally, where the seniors and juniors didn't miss a beat in shouting the well-known go home sophomores chant. Though we lost just about every competition during the pep rally, and I'm not sure if we had any spirit left at the end, we got to look forward to winning it two years later. Though our classes were getting a bit harder, we felt like we were on top of the world. Most of us were finishing up driver's training and starting to drive, and suddenly we had the freedom we always pictured would come with high school. We also had more responsibility. Scheduling for junior year forced many to make the very difficult decision between AP classes and IB classes, but hopefully we all made the right decision. The highlight of sophomore year for many was finally getting to sit in the student section at games, even if we were in the back. This couldn't have 
come a more perfect year as the football team went undefeated and became back-to-back -back state champs. Other memorable moments of sophomore year include the symphonic wind ensemble performing at Carnegie Hall, Team Rush becoming finalists at Worlds, the drama club's production of Bye Bye Birdie, and, of course, the legendary and much-enjoyed Lip Dub. Sophomore year was nice. Sure, there was some stress, but we were still able to care more about beating our friends at Trivia Crack than taking the SAT. All the stress of applying to college and becoming adults was a long way away, or at least we were still able to convince ourselves it was. Sophomore year was bittersweet. As much as freshman year did kick off our high school experience, sophomore year really felt like the beginning of an end. We only had two years left, which was both exciting and saddening. In the end, though, it was a great year that went rather quickly and catapulted us into the stress and excitement of junior year. And now to talk about junior year, I'd like to welcome Tim Dalrymple. Junior year. Yeah. I'm sure we're all having flashbacks to the, uh, the SAT, ACT work keys, AP tests, and that one other computer test that nobody really tried too hard on. We shouldn't sugarcoat it though. It was, it, it was pretty bad. We endured hours upon hours of testing, hand cramps, and stress-related breakdowns. But despite the hardships we sustained, we, as a class, we continued to achieve. Our junior year accomplishments included athletic state qualifiers in boys tennis, girls and boys cross country, wrestling, skiing, and bowling. But of course, as a school, we are not simply athletes. Beyond athletics, the Clarkston Orchestra achieved the honor of playing at the Michigan Teachers Conference for the first time. The Clarkston Choir went to New York City to perform. The Clarkston Drama Club put on spectacular performances of Carousel and the Curious Savage, and Team Rush won the state championship. So yes, junior year was stressful, challenging, and sometimes outright torture. But we got through it, all of us. Beyond today, and probably in the near future, we will all find ourselves faced with similarly daunting challenges. However, we will not back down and we will not give up. We will persevere because it's who we are as people, as Clarkston Wolves. Someday after today, you will likely find yourself facing obstructions that seem unconquerable. Like college, finding a job, and paying bills. But to that, I say remember the obstacles you have overcome and realize that your ability to achieve is limited only by your capacity to persist and believe. So fly high. Live with abandon, ambition, and boundless aspirations. Thank you, and I would like to introduce Haley Koss and Taylor Smith. While some of us spent the summer before senior year watching Michael Phelps win his 23rd gold medal or headed to the movies to see Suicide Squad, others spent their time chasing Pokemon around Clarkston. <laughs> no matter how you spent your summer, it seemed like most of us had already developed a case of senioritis that only got worse as time went on. Nonetheless, we made the most of our senior year. Coming into senior year, many of us never imagined stepping out of our comfort zone as much as we have. For one, neither Taylor nor I ever imagined speaking in front of thousands of people. Guess there's a first time for everything. As soon as the school year started, we had plenty of senior activities already underway. Early on in the school year, the executive board held senior mock elections where we picked the cutest couple, most poetic, and the greatest gamer, and best buds. And for many of you, it's not a surprise that Taylor and I chose to give the speech together because we are, in fact, the best buds. <laughs> and for, oh, sorry. One thing I think all seniors can agree we were excited for was being in charge of the jungle. That meant sitting front and center at all sporting event, events, 
but for some it also meant leading the roller coaster, which is a time-honored tradition here in Clarkston. Along with that, there were many other things that gave us even more reason to be excited. The football team continued on with a strong season, making it to the playoffs. The tennis team got seventh in states, and the band went to Disney World to play in the parade. In addition, both the girls and boys cross country teams won regionals and the bowling team won districts. There are so many things we have accomplished throughout our time in Clarkston that, there are, that they are sure to secure our legacy as we continue on our way through life. With the start of senior year, we have all started to experience some of our last. Our last high school football game, our last homecoming, our last pep rally, and most importantly, our last wolf time. Each semester, we were given 12 absences, and I think I can speak for most of us when I say that we definitely took advantage of them. We felt that we had the world at our fingertips. But as senior year was coming to an end, we started to understand the value of everything we were taught and how to take those lessons and apply it to our future. Throughout our career in Clarkson Community Schools, we had overcome many obstacles, including applying for college and many standardized tests. But along the way, there have been many success stories. The girls' volleyball team won districts, the girls' soccer team won their league for the first time in 10 years. The leadership team, along with the rest of the school and community, helped to raise $9,000 for charities such as Chad Tuff, Skate for Change, and Gluner's Food Bank of Michigan. Team Rush won the Engineering Inspiration Award at a world competition, and the boys' basketball team won the state championship, giving Coach Fife his first state title with all of Clarkston cheering them on. As Herb Brooks once said, great moments are born from great opportunities. Here in Clarkston, we have begun many opportunities that we have been able to turn into great moments. We need to always remember the opportunities we have been given here in Clarkston as we all go our own way. Don't forget the town that helped build who you are today. Thank you to the members of our executive board. Thank you, Ms. Brock and Ms. Allen, for your leadership with them this year. Next on the agenda, Clarkston High School has kind of a novel way of choosing our student speaker. They have to go through a very rigorous selection process. And the last man standing this year was Mr. Brian Blust. I could best describe Brian as an intelligent young man, thoughtful, kind, caring, and incredibly, incredibly handsome. <laughs> Brian, please make your way to the podium. All right, good. Well, it was a risky move to let me up here alone tonight especially since my family had no idea that I would be until they read the program a few minutes ago. Also, before I start, I'd like to invite Garrett Ettengoff up to the stage to lead you all on one final ride with the roller coaster. Thank you, Garrett. All right, now I can begin, of course. About 13 years ago, we embarked on a journey, a journey which we cannot simply see how we would get there, let alone envision its impact on our lives. Our focus remained on little thoughts, brought forth by our little minds, and displayed through our little hands. It was impossible to see even a glimpse into the moment which you're living right now as our present selves. Throughout this journey, We've been able to acknowledge the stories and experiences which have cultivated a group of learners, thinkers, 
and leaders heading further into a world of opportunity. The caps and gowns which you all wear tonight hold a meaning, not simply a meaning of completing high school or even your individual success, but a meaning which holds true, the ability of each and every one of you to follow a passion and to find a purpose, a purpose which defines us and keeps us driven. We sit here today as more than just classmates. We're a robust collection of individuals which make up something spectacular. We're the Clarkston class of 2017. More than 600 strong, we've become a legacy which is something to remember and be proud of. Together, we've given this community more than just graduates, more than state championships, and more than our high GPAs. We have created an impact, an influence on each other to keep us going, and to stay remembered by many who watched us get here. Through all the downtimes, the late night studying, and the numerous barriers we faced, we remained determined. As Walt Disney once said, whatever you do, do it well. The thing about Clarkston though, is that we don't necessarily stop at well. We strive to achieve perfection in any given scenario. Today is the day to acknowledge where the effort has taken us. Without a doubt, all of you sitting here today have a future. It can't be said what it will entail or where it will take you, but you have a time after today to prove a part of you for which you are unique. You cannot simply wake up in the morning and accomplish life's most demanding endeavor, but you can wake up and work on getting there. Our responsibility is to take on and own who we want to be in life, a task which never stops demanding more from us. I want you to think for a moment. What would our lives be like if we never took the opportunity to utilize our future? What would our lives be like if we didn't keep reaching higher as things became more difficult? But most importantly, what would our lives be like if we never had the opportunity to begin a legacy here in Clarkston? We've learned more than just the curriculum during our time here. The opportunities we've been given have allowed us to create our experience. What would our lives be like without the teachers, coaches, counselors, and parents who stood by our side and guided us along the way? We must never forget where we came from, while at the same time, never forget where we're going. You may want to ask though, what does acknowledging all of this in the past have to do with sending you off to the future? A lot of times, it's the journey to get where you're going, which teaches you about the destination. At this exact moment, we are living our last minutes with all of those who have built us up since day one. We must not cry about everything being over, but take a moment to smile because it all happened. This class of 2017 sitting here tonight has undoubtedly been one of the most successful and outstanding classes in Clarkston High School history. We now remain here finishing our last few moments together and think silently to ourselves about the future ahead. The future which we will create and change to make it how we have always envisioned it to be. You're sitting amongst your future doctors, lawyers, Navy SEALs, engineers, and even bosses. The reins have been lifted off of our shoulders and the way in which we must proceed is no longer the same as it always has been. The future outside of Clarkston will not always bring good news, but I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that you'll all find your way through. Life may demonstrate how difficult it is to win, but sometimes you'll achieve the impossible. It is easy to understand that a component of our journey to success is to accompany failure along the way. Amongst hardship and circumstance, just look ahead to where you will stand if you stay true to your passion. Nelson Mandela once told us, it always seems impossible until it's done. Something such as graduating high school, who would have thought that we would all make it here? Make it through our AP classes, IB programs, CSM tech, everything. We've done the task which initially seemed impossible. About 13 years ago, we embarked on a journey. A journey which has shaped us into a wolf pack. A community of students which have held each other accountable for our success. I stand up here today to congratulate all of you on your accomplishments and to send you off into the world of what is. Never forget where you came from. Embrace the future with an open mind and tackle the challenges you have set for yourself. As my childhood philosopher, Dr. Seuss, once said, you're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way.
Thank you, Brian. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce a man who needs no introduction, Dr. Rod Rock. All right. Good evening. I'd like to build on the, the ideas that Tim, that Brian shared and uh, share this idea that I, I found on Twitter. It says, learn to realize your purpose and live to achieve it. And those were said by our very own Tim Darrymple, who's going to head on to the University of Michigan once he completes high school here in Clarkston. And what I'm gonna do this evening is share some, I have about four pages of about 100 kids' names and different things that they're doing. And I'm not gonna share all of them, but I'm gonna share some of them along with some music and I'm not gonna dance. So um, Clarkston has the best kids in the world, the very best kids in the world. And oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, I still have an iPhone 5. So as I was saying, Clarkston has the very best kids in the world, the very best. And uh, if Mr. Call would have said it was okay, maybe some of you grandparents uh, have a sticker on the back of your car that says, ask me about my grandchildren. Do you have that? And he, that would maybe when that was when I was a kid. Whoops. I was going to put that on the back of my robe, uh, ask me about Clarkston's kids, but uh, Mr. Call said you can't write on your robe. So I want to share some examples with you and ask our students to stand up as I mention some of these categories that you'll see the outstanding students we have here in Clarkston in case you don't already know. So would those students, and if you could please save your applause to the end, although I know you're gonna break that rule after I say this first one. So would those students who are entering the military, will you please stand up? I think we have about eight of them. Thank you very much for your service to our country. Okay, now the rule's in place. We're gonna save our applause for the end. This class has an amazing, out of 603 students, we have 10 Eagle Scouts. Could the Eagle Scouts stand up? And we're saving our applause to the end. 10 Eagle Scouts. This class, thank you very much, that's an amazing accomplishment. I don't know what the percentage is in the country, but I know it's less than 10 out of 600. Did I say that right? Anyway, I'll watch that back later and see if I had it right. So I also want to recognize one student, Alex Gulvik. Alex, would you stand up? Alex has had perfect attendance since kindergarten. Way to go, Alex. And now we're saving our applause to the end. So with those students who were in National Honor Society, National Art Honor Society, or National Technical Honor Society, will you please stand up? Congratulations on all that you've accomplished. And with those students who were members of state championships, either basketball, Team Rush, football, business professionals, future problem solvers, will you please stand up? And others, our choir, our music, congratulations on all that you've accomplished. Our orchestra and our band have all been performers at the state level. Team Rush, congratulations and thank you. Those of you who have earned uh, all state recognition and any music, uh, Athletics, okay, this is, congratulations to you. I believe that there are more than that. You guys are messing with me now. Okay, we have five National Merit Scholars among us. Would you please stand? 
Congratulations on that amazing accomplishment. And let's see. One last thing. If you volunteered in the community during your time at Clarkson Community Schools, will you please stand? Thank you very much and congratulations. We have the best kids in the world. And students, I'd like to ask something of you as you're getting ready to leave Clarkston. I'd like to ask you to consider coming back. It's the best community. It's, we have the greatest kids in the world. So please think about coming back and living here and living your lives in Clarkston. We would love to have you. One of our uh, people who used to work for the Clarkston Community Schools, his name is Mel Vara, and he wrote this book part of this book called One Cup at a Time. And in the book, he talks about his time in Clarkston back in the 1950s and all the way through the 90s, and he still lives here. He met his wife here, and he still communicates with students he had 50 years ago. So if you could imagine being here and talking to some of your teachers when you're 68 years old, that would really be something. So I want to talk to you about dreams coming true. And I have a couple of students who are going to help me do that. Where are they? Are they here? Here they are. Very good. Thank you. So we have amazingly talented kids in our community, and two of them are Mackenzie Woodworth and <laughs> Mackenzie and Megan. And they are uh, amazing musicians, and this song was actually written by Mackenzie, and she's, they're going to perform a minute of their song. So one of their dreams was to be on this stage and perform and it's a great honor for me to help them make this dream come true. So here they are. Take it, take it, ladies. An original song. Give me a sign that you can feel this fire too. And if you don't, I'll still be hopelessly in love with you. And I know that your fire will be death of me but can't you see that here I am in the dark holding on to that spark here I am my fingertips and if the flames are yours I know I want to be burned, burned. Oh, oh, oh. Awesome. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Mackenzie and Megan. I love to see dreams come true. Now, I want to mention uh, some of our students and some of the diversity of things that our students will go on to do. And I apologize if I get, make mistakes, which I know I will. So Andrew Rahala is attending the University of Utah. Kelly Jackson is going to study cosmetology at Marchetti Academy. Hunter Schlink is going to enter the Army. Jake Reed is going to attend Kendall College of Art and Design. Jacob Marino will attend Point Loma Nazarene University. Ryan Felter will become a Marine. Diane Hokema will attend the College of Creative Studies in Detroit. And the list goes on. A.J. Spear is going to bowl for Spring Arbor University. Hugh Lay is going to study at the Art Institute of Atlanta. And Spencer Wicks is going to join the Army. Luke Olforn is going to study at Purdue. And Kelsey Gilbert, Gilbert is going to study at Augustana University in South Dakota. So. Ladies and gentlemen of the class of 2017, as you walk across the stage this evening, I'm going to give each one of you a box. And this box has special meaning. Each one of these boxes uh, has a red thread inside. The red thread represents the connections that we have. Once they're made, they last forever. So now that you've grown up in Clarkston, now that you've been touched by the lives of the people who are here and your families, you'll always be connected. Also inside this box is a card that I signed my name on. Now, that's not really worth very much, I know. 
not at this time, and it probably never will be. But I signed my signature to 600 of these cards to give to you, 603, because I want, it's my way of connecting with you. I also put a date on the back of each one of these cards that I, that I wrote with my own hands. And that date represents a day that I'd like to ask you to send me an email, if you will, to let me know how you're doing. I'd love to hear from you and to stay connected. Also inside this box is stuffing, which is inside a lot of jewelry boxes, coincidentally. And that stuffing represents what's inside your hearts. And the box itself, isn't that cool? Very thoughtful, I, very creative on my part. No one else could have thought of that. Thank you. And the box itself re represents a case of agency. So wherever you go in the world, if you go off to college or the army, if you go off to the world of work, put this box on where you can see it and remember that this community believes in you and believes in the power of your dreams and we're always here to support you and to help you in any way that we can. So I want to mention a few more names. Adam Coons is going to enter the Air Force. Alex Maynooth is going to enter trade school to become a plumber. Sarah Austin is headed off to Marist College, and she's going to play volleyball. Awesome. I think that's in, that's in New York, right? Is that Poughkeepsie? Cool. Chris Lauren is going to attend San Francisco State University. Hannah McClellan Luckenbach Bach is going to study mortuary science at Rochester College. Thank you, Hannah. That's important work. And Elena Green is going to attend Green Mountain College in Vermont. And Ilham Osman, she's going to Stanford University. So I want to, another thing that we do in Clarkston is we, we create a spreadsheet and we have each one of your teachers write a little note about, about you. And I want to share some of the notes that your teachers wrote. And we're going to copy those off and send them to you in the mail. Did you know that Jackson Worth is 16 years old and he's graduating today? Graduating early? When Jackson was younger, uh, he had a dream of going to MIT. And I was out there at MIT and I bought a t-shirt and gave it to Jackson. I gave one to his mom. She probably still has it. And uh, he may too, but it probably doesn't fit him anymore. Jackson's gone through some difficult health issues, and I know he's going to go and do amazing things, and hopefully one day he'll be able to live that dream to go to MIT. Ryan Anderson is an, e is an Eagle Scout. Ezekiel Bacon built his own foundry in his backyard as a kid and taught himself how to forge different materials. Nadia Berman will be an au pair in Montreal this summer. Uh, Dominique Bertolini skated for Team USA for Junior Roller Derby. Did you know that? It's pretty cool. Uh, Brady Dice is an excellent golfer. I think all of us knew that. Tristan Greenlee has a, a smile that will light, light up a room, according to his teachers. Um, and that goes on and on. And on and on. And Alex Matisse, Mr. Call, wrote this about him. I have always had a deep appreciation for your quiet confidence and leadership. You lead by example. You've been a, an outstanding student for three years at Clarkson High School. So I'll just mention a few more. Josh Peterson is an Eagle Scout. Donald Pinner is an Eagle Scout. Anna Rumstead has been outstanding in orchestra and accomplished many different things. Ryan Weaver is an Eagle Scout. John Wazel is an Eagle Scout. Max Wyckoff is an Eagle Scout. We have a lot of Eagle Scouts. I mentioned 10 out of 600. So to finish up, yes, there is indeed an end to my speech. I think you were probably starting to wonder. There's this song, and I, I was going to ask that it be played at the prom the other night, but I thought if I played a country music song, it would clear the dance floor. I'm pretty sure that it would have. So I waited to tonight. And I was going to play the song for you over these awesome loudspeakers we have here in this room, but I decided it would be better coming from the voices of our students. So this is, song is called the Take the Road Less Traveled. We have members of our choirs and some musicians who are going to play, along with Mr. Peterson. And as you're listening, I want you to hear not just the words that the songs ask you to think about in terms of taking the road less travel in your life and accomplishing your dreams, 
But I want you to hear the voices of these young people, these beautiful voices, these amazing voices that they have. And I want you to think about all of your voices and the world hearing your voices and how important that is and what amazing young people you are and all that you have to accomplish. So that's it for me. I'm going to turn it over to this group to hear their amazing song. Thank you very much. Somebody's missing their cap and gown. <laughs> Class of 2017. I can definitively say that this is the most outstanding class I have ever had the opportunity to work with. Somebody help her. <laughs> Seniors, on behalf of the entire CHS community, 
We want to collectively and together congratulate your accomplishments. Whether you've been with us for 13 years or just one, you all share a common bond of successfully completing your formal education, which ends tonight. From our first homecoming assembly in September to senior walk in May, as a collective group, you've handled yourself with, except for her, class and grace. And for that, I thank you. Beginning in September, we at the high school sought to focus on the positive connections your class had with each other and use them to enrich your school. Every year, traditionally, Dr. Rock will call out the accomplishments of a senior class. And it's a true testament to what you guys have accomplished throughout your time at Clarkston Schools with everything you've individually and collectively accomplished. And something that I'm noticing here tonight I don't think we've ever had a crowd this big at our graduation ceremony. I do believe that this is the biggest crowd we've ever had. So that says a lot to the support we've had. I've seen teams celebrate league and state championships, and I've seen teams have heartbreaking defeats. I've seen students in our performing arts programs win myriad awards and garner rousing applause at local, regional, and state competitions. I've seen students in countless clubs and activities win awards at all level while gaining the respect and admiration of their contemporaries. And I've seen selfless acts of kindness on a daily basis at the high school. When you think of all these experiences you shared, it makes me feel sorry for people that have to go to other high schools, like Lake Orion. Okay, if I was going to name this next part of my talk, it would probably be I'm an idiot. So follow along. This year, our graduation speech theme is What Will Our Lives Be Like If? The theme was selected among many suggested because I felt it embodied this time in your lives, a time to look forward and a time to look toward the future. Your future is laid out in front of you. And I know this is totally cliche, we've talked about it before, but you can do anything you want and you can be anyone you want. And if you don't know what you wanna be, that's perfectly fine because in many ways that's way more healthy than anybody sitting here at 18 years old and has their lives planned out to retirement. Think of the person you were when you started high school and compare that person to who you are now. How much have you changed? How much have you grown? How much have you learned? What kinds of experiences have you guys had individually and together that's turned you into the you you are today? Now, I'd like to have a little bit of audience participation since many of you look like you're over 18 years old. If sitting here today, you are in the exact spot that you thought you would be in when you were 18 years old, raise your hand. Look around, guys, look around. You're lying. <laughs> I think I know you, and you had no idea what you were going to do when you were 18. When you think about your future selves, what are the experiences you had which will prepare you? Because out of the roughly 5,000-some people who are here tonight, not one of them knew where they'd be at their age when they were sitting in these same or similar seats that you guys are. So we discussed the speaker process a little bit. We had 15 students try out to speak tonight. Typically what I'll do is I like to go through and talk about what some of the students said. Chloe Trainer, Natalie Harshman, and Alex Matisse discuss growing up in this great community, how fast your time has gone by, and how you have found inspiration in one another. Josh Knotts, Olivia Mayday, Emma Lohmeyer, and Elena Green spoke to Dreaming Big, Having Hope, following your passions, and doing so without fear. Gabrielle Volrath, Allison Harris, and Madeline Fleming encourage you to see this time as a fresh start, a chance to put yourself out there, make changes, create your own path. Or unless, uh, Allison said, unless you're lost in the woods and you find a path, you should probably take that. I, th I thought that was very poignant advice. Nathan Lee, Jordan Smear Smearman, and Alex Gavulik ask you to look inward, take stock in who you are as a person, 
and work to make changes if you see something that you don't like or you don't agree with. You can look for yourself for inspiration or you can look to the work of others. And I thought, finally, Sam Carter made a very poignant remark. She said, what would our lives be like if we stop being so normal? Sam, if you know her, has taken this philosophy to a total extreme, but I was touched by her remarks. I was struck in another way as well, that all of the students in their speeches, while they talked about academics, they talked about being the best person you could be, the best individual you can be. One thing I love about my job, I love about our school, I love about our community, is that I get to take inspiration from you guys every day because of the interactions I've got to have with you. I'm constantly learning to be a better person, a better educator, a better husband, and a better father. And for that, I thank you guys. This has been a long process, and coincidentally, one I began about the same age as you are, sitting somewhere right over in that area over there. I'm 45 years old. I'm still trying to figure out who I am, and some days more than others, I am 100% sure I am a complete and total idiot. I'm 100% sure of it. But in my advanced age that I maybe didn't know when I was your age, that is perfectly fine. It's okay, because that's how you learn, that's how you grow, and that's how you become a better person. So I ask you guys to reflect on who you are as people and make conscious decisions about the kind of people you want to be. You have been doing it for years now, but this is a great time to start to refine that process. So I leave you with this, graduates of the class of 2017. What will our lives be like if we embrace our inner idiot? Not because it's funny or amusing or makes people laugh, but because from our mistakes, with the help of our friends, our family, and through the life experiences you'll have, you will learn to be the best you you can be. From all of us at Clarkston Schools, particularly Clarkston High School, to all of you, we wish you happy, healthy, and long lives. Thank you, graduates. At this time, I'd like to ask the members on the stage with us to begin the Duma presentation process. The moment we've all been waiting for. Moms and dads, get your cameras out. Got a lot going on. Jacob Dale Aberlich. Alexander Edward Adams. Kendall Michelle Albrecht. Dylan Arthur Alderson. Hannah Marie Allen. Joseph Anthony Andery. Ryan Nicholas Anderson. Micah Georgie Angus. J. 
Jacob Charles Anthony. Petra Ann Arms. William Paul Arnold. Nicholas Robert Atchison. Sarah Ashley Austin. Ryan Nicholas Ostrids. Emma Catherine Ayat. Ezekiel James Bacon. Ross Kirby Bailey. Miloslav Tuing Velasco. Brandon Patrick Baker. Catherine Isabella Bannock. Christopher Gabriel Barahona. Zachary Patrick Barrow. Emma Elena Barnes. Harley Ann Baranowski. Liliana Diane Berenger. Ryan Joseph Bastuba. Laura Baumeister. Joseph Eric Beatty. Jacob Mitchell Beck. Austin John Beckman. Isabella Marie Bender. Andrew Hunter Benedict. Gretchen May Bennett. Jessica Lynn Bennett. Ryan James Bennett. Landry Marie Berman. Yeah. Nadia Marie Therese Berman. Yeah. Dominique Zoe Bertolini. John David Kueku Bilson. Benjamin Robert Bischoff. Zachary James Biddick. Micah Kent Blanks. Jacob Michael Blaska. Maurice Patterson Blevins. Brian Daniel Blust. Hunter Michael Boisvert. Stephen Rex Bowling. Kylie Minati Bolio. 
Caitlin Bryn Bondi. George Sayer Booker. Riley Siobhan Boomgard. Kristen Gabri G Gabrielle Bouchard. Sheldon Keith Bordeaux. Gabrielle Marie Brand. Jesse Aaron Brantley. Pascal Brassat. Sierra Joan Braun. Selena Marie Brennan. Chloe Elizabeth Brimacombe. Connor Lee Brimacombe. Nicole Renee Brees. Ashley Marie Brokenshaw. Nathan Thomas Brown. Nicholas Anthony Brown. Mark Michael Bruderick. Chloe Ann Bruick. Jacob Nickel Buckman. Alexandra Karen Boudris. Evan Daniel Bushing. Alan Turner Burnham. Cole Gabriel Butler. Logan Ray Butler. Megan Elizabeth Bird. Emily Ann Cabadas. Maxwell Joseph Kane. <laughs> Jacob Dante Calvano. McKenna Nicole Cameron. Alexander Michael Campbell. Catherine Elizabeth Campbell. David Joseph Carpenter. Gustav Scott Carpenter. Atlanta Bahati Carr. Kayla Faith Carr. Christy Marie Carroll. Brendan Matthew Carter. Samantha Kaylin Carter. Matthew Robert Cederman. Joseph Austin Cervantes. Robert Allen Chalmers. Tyler Evan Chandler. Christina Poppin Sharburn. Derek Anthony Childs. John Takuru Kranka. Connor Michael Christensen. Noah Blake Christensen. Thomas David Sikoraki. Allison Rose Clark. Alex Michael Clifford. Jacob Wade Cochran. 
Tristan James Kaufman. Cameron Thomas Koyu. Cameron Michael Kalika. Alexandra Nicole Collier. Michael William Collins. Gabriel Ryan Contreras. Charles Jason Jabari Cook. Ryan James Cote. Brooke Lynn Crandall. Lauren Camille Chris. Michaela Mary Crocker. Sean Michael Croston. Brady Preston Cummings. Robert John Curry. Marissa Moran Daigle. Maximilian Jules Dalka. Timothy James Dalrymple. Anne Marie Renee Darguet. Megan Ailish Deerdorf. Heather Lynn DeConnick. Matthew James DeFinis. Ariana Gabrielle DeHerter. Catherine Teresa Denny. Emily Grace Detloff. Adam Christopher Denny. Preceded by Hunter James DeWitt. Brady Ryan Dice. Alexander Allen Dixon. Hannah Marie Diffenderfer. Lucas Allen Deshaun. Quinn Andrew Dobzileski. Jacob William Dolan. Madeline Rose Dooling. Janet Marie Downey. Mariah Lynn Dry. Alyssa Jordan Dubray. Niu Yu Ying. Enzo Luciano Duva Rodriguez. Kirsten Elizabeth Dwyer. Rachel Ann Eckout. William Gavin Iser. Daniel John Eflin. William Christopher Eflin. Zachary Franz Eflin. Garrett William Ettengaw. 
Alec Thomas Fair. Jacob Nissan Ritchie. Robert Guy Farrell. Megan K. Farley. Catherine Lynn Nicole Smith. Nicholas Thomas Pavaza. Jessica Ann Fay. Ryan Thomas Felter. Aurora Lynn Prestidis. Kristen Michelle Fenner. Zachary Jennings Fenwick. Allison Page Fear. Morgan Lindsay Ferguson. Zachary Garrett Ferguson. Savannah Jean Finkel. Alexandra Nicole Fiore. Madeline Claire Fleming. Donald Lee Fluke. Juliana Flores. Kelsey Elizabeth Flynn. Grace Mary Forbush. Megan Renee Forshe. Madeline Joy Darusha Foslin. Percy Elijah Fowler III. Gabrielle Elizabeth Fox. Catherine Nicole Fox. Trevor Allen Fox. Christian Alexander Franco. Savannah Marie Fredrickson. Matthew David Freed. Drew Forrest Freshke. Carter Forrest Gale. Leslie Royalty Mile Gamble. Alexander Bresden Gavalik. Samantha Nicole Golick. Blake Thomas Gemer. Bianca Michelle Genrich. Kyle David Genter. Cheyenne Gadamabadi. Kelsey Ann Gilbert. Cole Anthony Gilbert. Alexandra Lee Gladding. Nathaniel Peyton Gleiss. Kaylee Elizabeth Gloka. 
Siana Marie Gochai. Mackenzie Lynn Gomez. Lauren Catherine Gonzalez. Connor Lynn Goodson. McKinley James Gozen. Hunter Allen Gosley. Emily Lynn Graderix. Elena Ray Green. Tristan Andrew Greenlee. Sarah Elizabeth Gregory. Stephanie Ann Grimshaw. Olivia Pauline Groff. Nicholas Christopher Groves. Kristen Kathleen Grubinaw. Grace Sophia Gustafson. Kenneth Scott Gustafson. Julia Marie Hayden. Alexandra Joy Hadley. Brandon Lee Hogg. Benjamin Ronald Hallcrow. Robert Brace Hallett. Grace Mary Hammond. Madeline Kate Hannon. Analia Rose Hanslitz. Hannah Noel Hansen. Alyssa Marie Harbaugh. Olivia Hanalore Hardy. Allison Renee Harris. Stratton Justin Harris. Isaac John Harrison. Natalie Rose Harshman. Jacob Allen Hart. Brianna Marie Hayes. Kyle Patrick Hayes. Trevor John Heasley. Haley Morgan Heichel. Tristan James Heller. Carson Andrew Helsel. Isabel Ann Hernandez. Kariana Nicole Hernandez Graham. Vincent Emilio Herrera. Madison Jean Hicks. Derek Lee Everett Hillman. Jacob Reed Hodges. William Earl Hodson. Diana Helena Hoxima. Savannah Renee Holcomb. Haley Ann Holmes. Jarrett Harley Holtzlag. 
Nicole Emma Horner. Abigail Joy Horning. Sydney Mary Pustina. Abigail Marie Howell. Kaylee Marie Hubert McLennan. Khalil, Khalil McKeel Burr Humphrey. Drew Anthony Hundley. Simon Austin Hunt. Tiger O'Shea Hutchins. Jacob Franklin Ivankovich. Catherine Emma Jaffke. Michelle Jarvis. Mason Dean Jasso. Sydney Gail Jensen. Caitlin Ann Jewett. Madison June Jitus. Marissa Cameron Johnson. Rakaya Elizabeth Johnson. Jesse Jonathan Jones. Ethan Marcus Junod. Mika Timothy Ewell. Adam James Kasanowski. Morgan Ray Kanagowski. Lauren Elizabeth Kapitza. Kalista Yawiga Keller. Lucas Alexander Keller. Jack Colin Kennedy. Kristen Nicole Kennedy. William, excuse me, William Edward Kenny. Rachel Renee Kerr. George Forrest Ketzler. Jonathan Mitchell Kilowald. Ethan Wyatt Kimball. Roman Charles Knall. John Thomas King. Jacob Logan Cloakey. Riley Lynn Klustra. Ashley Marie Klopsik. Ryan Daniel Knight. Joshua Paul Knotts. Adam Scott Kasiba. Olivia Blair Condrat. Chrysula Condillis. Adam Nathan Coons. Emily Susan Kopish. Haley Ann Koss. Emily Elizabeth Cole. Madeline Ann Cole. Amber Leanne Krause.
Joel Michael Craner. Andrew Benjamin Kroll. Sophia Grace Kubli. Joseph Michael Kuzmanski. Tristan James Lajness. Madison Kathleen Lamboris. Lucas James Lantero. Alexis Julia LaRose. Samantha Nicole Lavely. Allison Heather Layson. Tom Lee. Sean Joseph Lemieux. Nora Lee Leonard. Nathan Huey Lee. Riley Ann Liebler. Maxwell Karsten Lies. Max David Lightfoot. Gowan Fife Little. Ryan Matthew Little. Marissa Ann Lockwood. Emma Caroline Lohmeyer. Sean Colton Long. Sarah Marie Longo. Connor Matthew Look. Stephen Calvin Lowe. Madeline Elizabeth Lowney. Hannah Marie Lukenbach McClellan. Corbin Richard Lund. Joyce Catherine Lyman. Evan Francis McConaughey. Olivia Rose Mayday. Andrew David Mallory. Connor Carmen Malone. Allison Brooke Mann. Zachariah Gregory Mansour. Mary Maureen Marhaini. Anne Marie Kessler Marion. Nicholas Timothy Marshall. Sean Patrick Martin. Rochelle Pilar Mason. Logan Randall Matzak. Spencer Charles Matthews. Carl Alexander Matisse. Ethan Thomas Maxfield. Ryan James McAvoy. Haley or Hallie Nicole McKay. Joshua Michael McKay. Daniel Robert McCarty. Cameron Robert McClelland. 
Kamen Bryce McDaniel. Jacob Robert McIntosh. Lauren Elise McKay. Mary Catherine McKillop. Patrick Healy McKillop. Haley Marie McLaren. Broderick Michael McLean. Matthew Eric McLeod. Ethan Lane McMichael. Juan Carlos Melendez. Gloria Eloisa Mendez. Will David Mengen. Caitlin Marie Meredith. Samantha Claire Michkowski. Brent Nathaniel Miles. Benjamin David Miller. Grayson Edward Miller. Isla Marie Miller. Kayla Kathleen Miller. Kyle Andrew Miller. Tyler Scott Minton. Alexander James Manu. Barrick Paul Momrick. Emily Ann Moore. Jessica Lee Moore. Michaela Gabrielle Moore. Ryan Stephen Moore. Jacob Mark Moreno. Hunter Lee Morgan. Gabriella Mota. Michael Lee Moltrip. Megan Helen Mulvahill. Roman Reyes Murga. Jack David Murphy. Erica Lynn Merrill. Joshua Lawrence. Nassau Young. Joshua William Neal. Sophie Neal. Samantha Lynn Need. Maya Marie Nidak. Huang Nok Min Nguyen. Kelly Marie Nicholson. Aiden Elliott Nolan. Elena Therese Norito. Tyler James Novaki. Lauren Elizabeth Nermi. Alec Jordan Ulrich. Luke Charles Oldford. Elijah Lewis Hicks Olson. Emily Ryan O'Neill. Carrie Nicole Ormsby. Peyton Ariana Orr. Ilham Abdi Osman. John Henry Ottman. Michaela Grace Owens. 
Gino Gregor Pacifico. Olivia Alexis Packard. Devin Lucas Picolt. Kristen Marie Page. Mitchell Joseph Page. Lainey Rose Palmer. Riley Cole Parent. Benjamin Joseph Perillo. Jean Marie Park. Devin Patel. Roman Patel. Dylan Michael Perry. Elizabeth Lauren Peters. Joshua David Peterson. Phoebe Marie Peterson. Wesley George Petromo. Megan Marie Piana. Mitchell Gaetano Piazza. Matthew Philip Pierce. Stephen Carl Pilan. Donald Brady Pinner. Raymond Joseph Pistinetti. Petra Petiglio. Lindsay Grace Porter. Alexandra Paul Poltu. Ryan Thomas Prisby. Jacob Stephen Proper. Gage William Puffer. Caleb Jacob Punches. Thomas Austin Purvis. Christian Dustin Peicher. Brendan Douglas Quick. Molly Elizabeth Quinlan. Zachariah Paul Rabine. Devin Robert Rodzewin. Andrew Jonathan Rajala. Justin Michael Rink. Jesse Catherine Reitz. Luke Robert Renchik. Ryan Christopher Rankowitz. Tyler Joseph Retford. Alexa McKay Reynolds. Jamie Rose Remenschneider. Kelly Rayana Reach. Carissa Abigail, Abigail Ritthaller. Madeline Ray Robar. Hannah Marie Robertson. Edward Joseph Rodriguez. Luis Guadalupe Gutierrez Rod Rodriguez Gutierrez. Catherine Marie Rogowski. Renee Elizabeth Rogowski. Tyler George Roller. Sarah Ann Rooks. Andrew Davidson Ross. 
Damon Kane Rothrock. Casey Jean Rowden. Sophie Izell Rowland. Cole Frederick Rudolph. Riley Rose Rumbold. Anna Elizabeth Rumstadt. Lucas Richard Russell. Ethan William Rutt. Jacob Michael Ryan. Jacob Christopher Rigalski. Dalton John Sampson. Noah Brian Sampson. Olivia Claire Sampson. Elena Lynn Sandomirsky. Matthew Henry Sanker. Michael Joseph Sanker. Joshua Paul Scheel. Keith Evan Shinton. Hunter Dean Schlink. Aiden Blake Schmeling. Caitlin Louise Schrank. Katie Elizabeth Schrei. Brock Carol Schultz. Olivia Mary Schuster. <laughs> Hannah Lauren Seaman. Julie Ann Suman. Nicole John Sanko. Conrad John Paul Sentgraff. Roland Manuel Sepulveda. Jalen Marie Janice Sexton. Lily Rose Seymour. Sarah M. Seymour. Samuel Richard Shefferly. Emily Darlene Shepherd. Alicia Marie Schiff. Tyler Ruth Schrout. Ryan Ann Schubert. Molly Marie Signer. Garrison Marshall Sigmund. Daniel Boshun Sim. Brianna Lynn Sinisco. Sydney Connor Sitar. Gavin Nathaniel Slater. Nathan Lee Slater. Jordan Ray Sloan. Jordan Riley Smearman. Adam Noel Smith. Cameron Allen Smith. Hadley Lynn Smith. Jayla Latrice Nicole Smith. Taylor Elizabeth Smith. Sarah Nicole Snyder. Jenna Lynn Somerville. 
Deja Kaylee Sotelo. Stephanie Pearl Sowers. Devin Michael Spaulding. Anthony Jacob Spear. Ryan George Spihar. Joshua Matthew Squire. Nicholas Bryant Stallworth. Nicholas Bathana Stevenson. Nora Grace Story. Carson Donald Stottlemyre. Jacqueline Marie Stoughton. Nevin Lee Strayer. Seth Aaron Stump. Robert Harley Swansea. Filippo Tagliacarna. Ryan Christopher Talbot. James Michael Tetter. Stephanie Claire Tenorelli. Ethan William Thibodeau. Zachary Hunter Thompson. Nicholas Kane Thornberry. Jaden Matthew Thuman. Chloe Ariana Trainer. Lexi Autumn Trainer. Broderick Roger Toomey. Sabrina Jean Tucson. Christian Charles Ulig. Sophie Elizabeth Upcott. Kelly Catherine Van Gundy. Mark Joseph Van Buskirk. Robert Allen Van Ryandam. Brennan Joseph Vargas. Shane Devin Vaughn. Haley Ann Valisek. Justin Robert Variest. Leo Salgat Vigalius. Gabrielle Phyllis Volrath. Sierra Marie Wagner. Jade Amber Wagner. Charles Donald Walker. Madison Marie Walker. Megan Nicole Walters. Alexander James Ward. Margaret Mary Warner. John William Waysell. Ryan Michael Weaver. Kate Louise Webb. Lindsay Ann Weber. Patrick Michael Welch. Rachel Ann Wenslick. Caitlin Renee West. Jordan Leanne Westover. Joshua Dean Witt. Colin Patrick Witten. Spencer Thomas Wicks. Griffin Forbes Wilkie. Matthew John Williamson. Coley James Wilson. 
Dane Robert Wilson. Madeline Marie Wilson. Chastity Anaya Windham. Cassandra Irene Winkler. Madeline Faye Wiscom. Isabel Judith Wittebort. Mackenzie Ray Woodworth. Veda Ray Woodworth. Rachel Elizabeth Wright. Jackson Tyler Worth. Maxwell Lewis Wyckoff. Emma Ruth Yardley. Dakota Charles Yates. Kayla Catherine Yenshaw. Jordan Bradley Zabinski. Remington Thomas Zaremba. Georgia Christine Zielinski. Nathan Robert Zimmy. At this time, please direct your attention to our madrigal singers.
At this time, we'd like to ask the executive board to come up and conduct our tassel ceremony. Congratulations, class of 2017. We have finally made it. I hope you're all proud of what you've accomplished over the course of these past few years at CHS. I'm going to ask that you all please rise. <laughs> and if we're already CHS graduates, it is time. Please turn your tassels. Woo! <laughs> Seniors, you are graduated. <laughs> Let's have a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. CHS class of 2017. Don't stop. Don't stop. At this time, I would like to dismiss our faculty and staff. Seniors, you are dismissed. Thank you. 